Hey Pisces, I'm Rita Wells, your spiritual catalyst, and I'm here to do your love reading for your, whoever you're thinking of, your divine connection, your twin flame. I mostly deal with uh, twin flames, and um, I'm here to do your reading for December 1st to the 15th, so if you're new, welcome. There is something here for you, you guys. I really play in law of vibration and attraction, so I know that you've been drawn to me for a reason, so take a look around. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you are returning, you know I always hold a very special place in my heart. I'm totally about pulling in the collective, healing, bringing peace to the planet so that we can consistently evolve and expand. So guys, I'm going to be continuing your readings. I know I said I wasn't going to do Sun, Moon, and Rising, but Spirit really wanted me to do the Gypsy Spread to show the interconnection energies between you and whoever you're thinking of. And so just know that this is a really cool spread. So let's get started, okay? Um, oh, <laughs> I didn't take out the masculine and feminine energy. So let me just pause the, the video until, so I can pull out the emperor and the empress. So you don't have to sit here and wait, just hang tight. Hey guys, sorry about that. I shuffled the deck and then forgot I was doing the gypsy spread and then realized, oh, I need to take out the masculine and feminine energy. So oh, let's just put this down. All right, perfect. So yeah, all right, let's get started. So this is an interconnection gypsy spread. And this is for my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Guys, make sure that you take a look around at the other uh, signs that make up your chart, because it's not just your sun sign, right? Your Venus is also very important. It's where you love. Your moon is very important. Uh, your rising is important. So can you take a look so you can put together your reading. <laughs> Uh, if you want to work with me, all that information is down below. Okay, if you do want to do coaching or anything like that, take a look down below. Please note that I only give free one-hour sessions to those that are really, truly, truly ready to take a leap of faith in their in the unknown, in their abilities, in their calling. Okay, so if you want to book a reading, you want to read testimonials, anything like that, all that information is down below. You can go to RitaWells.com. All right, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising for Pisces. Please, Spirit, please bring down the container. Whew, my YouTubers, thank you for all my viewers. Thank you. And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 1st to the 14th. Okay. I've really been pulled to just be taking um, uprights a lot lately, guys, only if spirit tells me. So everything is channeled through me. All right. So Pisces, we have a stable offer that's coming in. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a brand new vibration that's coming in and it could be with your person. It could be on your own, but whatever it is, it's bringing um, stability and abundance and money and ground, root, ground, really rooted, grounded energy for you. Okay. So that's really nice. We also have the Three of Cups. We have, I'm going to say it's union because we have four of wands on the bottom. So there is a solid foundation that's happening. There is a reunion, a friendship that's coming about. Um, there is an offer, a stable offer here. We have the four of wands. Okay. So we do have the energy, the twin flame card, the 1111 card. This is building foundations. It can also mean like uh, solid foundations. It doesn't have to be with a twin flame. Depends on what journey you're on. Um, I am on a twin flame journey. So I've known that since I was little. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's besides the point, <laughs> but this is like the 1111, right? You see, you've got the two uh, wands here that shows 1111. And this is about marriage and commitment and moving forward into something uh, very solid and very uh, passionate, very action oriented. Okay. This is leaving things that no longer serve you. Okay. So this is about, um, yeah, really walking away from things that don't serve you. So you can have reunions, so you can have abundance, so you can have this beautiful stable offer. Okay. So I'm going to just put these at the top actually. Kind of makes more sense here. Yeah. And then we're going to take, this is how it works. We put the feminine, the masculine, and then we take the top four. And then we will clarify. Okay, guys? So again, if you want to work on coaching with me, I do give a free one hour session, but remember guys, you've got to be really, really ready. Um, I don't take every application. Just know that there is a wait list. I put it out yesterday and I've got something like 40 applications that I've got to go through and I really intuitively ask spirit and pull through. And please, if I don't accept you, it's nothing personal. It's just whatever I'm guided to. Okay. And what spirit says, um, I'd be able to tell you in your darkness just from what you write if, if you're ready and if it because I, I don't want to work with people who invest and then it's a waste of their money so that's not how I work it's not about money for me I'm totally about being of service to spirit what happened here okay just the shimmer off okay so Pisces Sun Moon and Rising and Venus 
Okay, and don't forget to like, hit the like right now, guys. Whoa, hit the like, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Okay, let's see. This is an interconnection spread. We read the energies from the inside out, okay? Um, it's exactly how we do our healing work. Everything is from the inside out. Nothing is from the outside in, although we try to live from the outside in, which is actually kind of funny. Now that I've been living from the inside out for a while, I kind of look at it like, wow, who was that? Who was that person? <laughs> Feels like, I feel like I've died many lifetimes. I feel like I've lived like about 20 past lives in this whole life. <laughs> okay, so here we go, guys. This is what it looks like, the interconnection spread. Okay, let me I can move that a little bit. Oops, sorry. I'm like a disaster here. <laughs> okay, so we have masculine and feminine energies. If you can see, we've got the emperor here and we've got the empress here. And they definitely are in separation. Feminine energy is really trying to manifest something. She is single, okay? She is on her own. Okay, this is very independent energy, very strong independent energy. She is on her own. She is, um, what's underneath her? The Five of Cups. A little sad, okay? Pisces looking at what she's lost, that she has to manifest and move forward on her own. So I feel like that has something to do with this walking away energy. So somebody has definitely walked away from a union, from a reunion, um, and to start something brand new. We have masculine energy also feeling very sad about what, what they've lost, okay? Because we have the Five of Cups right at the, right at underneath the feminine energy, and it is also crossing the masculine here, okay? So this is the Five of Cups, and it's touching the masculine, and it's bridging him into the feminine energy of uh, abundant and rooted energy and nurturing and mothering. And, and through the sadness, the masculine is going to learn how to mother themselves, because that's a really important thing. In most codependent relationships, in a masculine and feminine energy, well, it's always masculine and feminine energy. It doesn't matter about the sex, you guys, okay? It's not about the gender. So in a masculine and feminine energy, the feminine is always mothering the masculine and taking care of them like a parent does. And I don't know about you, but... I'm done with partners like that, okay? And this is where the universe wants you to recognize that your parenting and your mothering needs to come from within. It needs to become, be connected to your own feminine energy on the inside. And through this pain, the masculine energy is recognizing that because of the separation, they're they're running in parallel in their growth as well. So when the feminine grows, the masculine sort of opposite, the masculine is definitely going to grow. And this five of cups underneath, she's had that sadness, but she's moving on. She's taking that darkness and she's transmuting it into making, you know, something very abundant out of her pain. And she's moving forward on mission no matter what. And so what's happening here with masculine energy, sorry, it's water. Um, they're through the pain. They're also going to find that they're going to have to learn how to nurture themselves. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm feeling here is feminine energy is really moving on, really looking at her independence. Um, this sadness that she's had has shown her more how to nurture herself through the pain of everything of what's happened here. But there's a reunion. I feel like there's still a chance here for something. Okay. I still really, truly believe that, that there is something here that, um, yeah, I really do feel that we're going to clarify. So I'll bring this down a little bit so you guys can, can see, so I can clarify here. Let's clarify this, um, I want to clarify the three cups and the four of wands together, okay? Let's clarify that spirit. The three cups and the four of wands. What, are, what is this about? Not too many. We'll take those three that fell. Okay. Yeah. See, I think there's a third party situation. We have uh, Queen of Swords here, which is Libra energy. So we have something here, something toxic has happened that has to be cut out. And the focus was on the toxicity. Okay. Could be Capricorn, could be Libra. Um, I don't really like calling out signs because it's really just about the energies and how it's playing out. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it's the person. It just could be that they're honing that energy inside of themselves. So what I feel is that there had to be a walking away because whatever foundation and this friendship and this union or this reunion that you were trying to get together with the masculine, um, there was somebody else, something had to be cut out uh, because the focus was more on toxicity more than anything else. Okay. They were working hard and focusing on the toxicity. Okay, so let's clarify here for the offer here from Spirit, the, the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this offer wasn't quite taken, but I feel like this was an offer for 
the feminine energy. It was actually an offer for the masculine energy to move forward. So whatever happens, spirit wants you to recognize. We have temperance with the chariot and the king of cups. So spirit really wants you to recognize here that this offer that's coming through, okay, um, was not necessarily for the feminine. It was for the feminine to move into something stable and to, re and to recognize what was actually something very toxic that she had to cut this out, okay? Feminine energy had to cut this out and... Um, but this offer was from the masculine here, okay? And it's an offer not from him. It, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying it's an offer from the universe. This offer was to get this masculine energy moving into a very balanced state, okay? And it was hard for the feminine. I, I understand it was completely difficult for the feminine energy to do that, but we're going to clarify even further, okay? But that offer was for the universe to get um to fast track the masculine okay guys sometimes we we have to go through the darkness in order to know the light we really do and it is kind of like the fast track if you knew like love and peace all the time then i mean we just be in a comfort zone all the time i mean it's nice it's nice to be in a comfort zone but all the time all the time i don't know about you but i mean when you go on vacation you're pretty much done after a couple weeks like do you really want that forever you know, so let's take a look at, you know, this walking away here for Pisces. Had to walk away. This Eight of Cups, your spirit. Yeah, yeah, that's feminine energy, Queen of Cups, right? The Queen of Cups. We have a pair here. We have King Cups and Queen of Cups. So that's definitely a counterpart. Okay, had to definitely walk away. She's hanging on, though. She closed off. She closed her heart. She, she, She's still... You know, hanging on to the connection. She knows what, what's here, but she's she had to definitely walk away, okay? Sorry, guys. I tried to do my hair nice for you guys today, but I don't like putting product in my hair, so I'm a very much of a naturalist. Like, I don't wear makeup and stuff, so, okay. So, let's take a look here at the masculine being sad here, okay? Because very sad that there was a walking away. But it brought him in. Look at this. We have counterparts. And I'm really feeling this is all about counterparts here because we're getting a lot of pairs. Um, it brought him some grounding energy. It brought him into the father energy. It brought him into uh, the king of pentacles is very, you know, grounded and wants to be very stable and very rooted in the earth. And so this is what's happening. Okay. Because you see here. You see here how the masculine energy through the sadness is going to gain this nurturing and learning how to mother themselves, right? To ease themselves through this pain, right? Because, and then they're using, this is the, the counterpart here the, with the queen of pentacles, right? So they're, they use the father energy, right? They use that to ground, to move forward. And now that they use that energy, it's grounding. The pain is pushing them into the mothering energy for themselves. Let's clarify that a little bit more. And that's how they're connecting to the inside of themselves. Thank you, Spirit. So we're saying that's how they're, they're, they're doing it on the inside, right? Because especially if you're in a twin flame connection, it's an inside job. I mean, it's not that it isn't for soulmates, but twin flames, it's very like when one does it, the other does it. You make the same core decisions all the time. So if you know that you're moving and it's just, it's all about how it's manifesting. So divine feminine is choosing sacred union and is choosing mission. You know, she will continue to do that. It will pull that vibration so hard that the masculine will not have a choice, but to surrender everything eventually, eventually, you know? So it may not be in this life. It may be in another life. I have definitely past life memories that it hasn't happened in this life. And it's like, why spirit? And they're like, the next life, Rena. So <laughs> I know it's this life. <laughs> so, um, okay. So let's clarify a little bit further with divine masculine. So feminine energy is really, uh, yeah. See, they're having an awakening in the tower. So this has really awakened the masculine. They're having an awakening. Things are definitely falling apart because of the walking away, because of the sadness. Let's see divine feminine with the sadness and what she had to do because she held that sadness, but she pulled through it. The five of cups here for the feminine, feminine energy, please. For the divine feminine. Yeah, she slowly moved through it. It took her some time, but she slowly. So I really feel these feminines are really, um, they've worked through it. They're sad, but they've been working through it. They're claiming a lot of their independence. Things are starting to slowly manifest. It's not a fast, it's not quick. 
it's a, it's steady, but you're starting to see increments of improvement. And that's really good. And that's what Spirit is saying. That's really what you want. That's when you know you're on the right track. Because when things just automatically manifest like that, um, sometimes when it's too good to be true and it's like, boom, it's like, um, okay, that's, that's a red flag. Unless it's completely like a divine connection. Like if you met your twin and it's boom, that's entirely different. But you know, most other things that you're manifesting and somebody comes along and says, Oh, I'll give you like a million dollars and you can do this. You know, it's too good to be true. You know, you have to put some work into it. Right. So this is the step-by-step -step process that spirit is leading divine feminine through. Yeah. See, and she's looking out into the future. She's looking to the horizon. She's looking forward. Yes. So let's clarify here. Divine masculine with this. Uh, we have the nine of pentacles here. Sorry guys. The Nine of Pentacles. But, well, he's very focused here, okay? So Divine Masculine is using his king energy to really focus and gain clarity in how to be this um, independent, how to be single. So let's clarify. Uh, can you clarify this third party up here? Because I feel like this Queen of Swords is a third party, and I feel like that is a counterpart here. But when I see King and Swords together, people say, oh, that's a power couple. Mm, um, they're very mental energy. I, um, mental energy is very much in the head. So it's going to be very much about ego things. It's going to be about my money. It's going to be about how do we like, how can we like intellectualize and analyze and figure that out together? It's a very mental connection. That's not twin flame connection. Okay. Not at all. Twin flame connection is very deep, very emotional. That's why I use the King and Queen of Cups. So let's clarify this queen of swords because i feel like now that we have a counterpart that is a third party situation i also have justice on the bottom so there is a decision that's coming forward clarify the queen yeah see the queen of swords nine of cups came up and nine of cups for me in a divine connection okay is not um it's not the ten of cups it's just very material based and it's fine not everybody is on a twin flame journey not everybody's ready for sacred union right so the thing is like nine of cups is really good and this is a really you know this person that the masculine is with yeah it could be a really good connection it's like yeah we can build this up in the earth plane and we can do this and but if you're gonna there's something else because this masculine is awakening we have the tower here right so this masculine is awakening to something deeper with the divine feminine right there is something deeper that's happening so this is like very material based with this uh libra energy that's here with this um queen of swords here with the reunion with the friendship with the coming together that's block it's toxic right it's toxic anything else with this Nine of Cups. It's not the Ten of Cups. It's not the spiritual cup, right? Yeah, look, having to leave. The cup is somewhere else, right? That's as I'm saying that, okay? <laughs> we got the Nine of Cups, and they're going to have to leave eventually, I feel, to look for their Ten of Cups. This is not the Ten of Cups for them. So let's take a look at what is this King of... I'm going to just... Um, they're taking their focus out of this partnership now because it's showing up in this spread instead of the overview. I'm seeing that this king of swords is focusing on being independent. Let's clarify being single now being the nine of pentacles. Okay. That's really what they're focusing on here because this is, this is just the nine of cups. So let's clarify the nine of swords, the king of swords, please. With the nine of pentacles, please. The king of swords with the nine of pentacles. Okay. So they want to offer something here. They want to move forward um, and offer. Spirit is giving them this offer to move forward into being single. Let's clarify that a little bit more. Yeah, because the, they completely feel left out in their life. They feel completely left out in their life. Okay. They feel abandoned. Um, and so spirit is like move towards being single. Okay. Uh, divine feminine is already in that space. She's manifesting. Okay. So let's clarify divine feminine between the energies of the nine of pentacles and the magician, please. She's in a very powerful place right now. Yeah. The lovers, the two of wands and the seven of cups. Okay. So working through her options, working through her contrast, right? Sometimes when we're manifesting things happen, you're like, was that good? Was that? No, that's not good. That's a contrast. That's making me refocus. Remember when we manifest guys, if things aren't showing up properly, it's like we're missing the mark because we're like, okay, I'm either, I didn't quite manifest this. It's not exactly aligned. feels a little off because it's, um, 
misconstrued energy, not misconstrued. What is that word spirit? Spirit's bringing up Abraham Hicks, mixed energy. It's mixed energy. It's not full alignment yet. So what's happening here is, um, really it could be, you know, different partners are coming forward, different love interests are showing up, how to passionately action and move forward and make proper decisions in your love life and in relationships. And, and your feminine energy is getting very focused here. Okay. So what I see here is like feminine energy is going to continue on her path. She's going to continue um, moving forward and that's going to pull up divine masculine here. Okay. Divine masculine also has the magician. So let's see what divine masculine is manifesting. It's affecting him because he's on the outskirts of the spread, right? Divine feminine is in the middle. So he's on the outskirts. So um, he's a feeling all of this. He's withholding his, uh, he's having courage, but he's withholding his energy right now from manifesting anything. Why is that spirit? He's trying to have courage to face it. Yeah, because he needs things to, he needs to end things. Yeah, look how, if things are going to work with the feminine, if they're going to collaborate, he needs strength and courage and he's withholding right now in manifesting anything because they're going through um, a tower moment. Let's clarify the tower here for the masculine. Yeah, defensive energy and becoming illuminated. So definitely things are falling apart for the masculine right now. They're having their focus has changed towards the feminine because they're leaving this. Their focus is not on the karmic anymore right now. OK, and really looking at how to move forward. And they're being, you know, they're defending their energy right now. They're defending what they want in life. OK, let's pick some healing messages. I'm going to go do the extended guys. If you want the extended, I have a monthly membership cancel at any time. You get a, a monthly downloadable, uh, meditation. You also get, uh, once a month I do a Q and a, ask all your questions and I'll answer them. You just email me and, um, you get discounts on readings. So, and you get all the extensions on my YouTube. Okay. So, here we go. Let's take a look here. What is going on here, Spirit? What healing message do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please? Whew. Didn't want this to go 20 minutes, but it ended up going 20 minutes. All right, transformation. Wow, Pisces. So yeah, this is massive transformation that's happening in your connection right now. So Spirit is really encouraging you to, you know, um, bridge both realms, sky and earth. See how this is building up, right? Putting roots and growing up, uh, transforming holding your ground here an inner transformation moving to you know bridging both heaven and earth here and being the center force in um all your darkness and all of your light and learning how to do that um and holding a very strong stance okay so yeah this is huge transformation this connection is transforming so the first two weeks uh things are shifting a lot so keep doing what you've been doing keep moving forward keep healing keep looking at your options, keep manifesting divine feminine and divine masculine, you know, um, there, you're really going through the brunt of transformation right now. So just keep allowing that to happen. Don't fight it. All right, guys, don't forget to like, and subscribe, take care. And I'd love to hear your comments. Bye. Aho.